Welcome back to another episode of Chicken Police Paint It Red. Ah, the noir detective. That's what we are. Where were we? We were with Mr. Marty. Marty. All right. Um, so let me just take a recap. It has been a couple of days since I played this last. Um, I think we're okay, though. I think it's not like something too crazy. I think we have to go to the club, right? And um, go from there. Let's talk to Marty real quick. Hello, Marty. Yeah, very funny. We're good, by the way. Mostly. As good <laughs> okay. as we can be after all these years. Okay. Glad to hear it. She we got new personal info. You. She asked a lot about us. Really? Yeah. She always hated you for getting me into trouble all the time. Is there a reason why? Is there a woman involved or a Miss Chicken involved? Understandable. But she also felt sorry for you. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. That's uh, I like much Marty. Better. He's a good chicken. If I'm honest with you, she loved the chicken police, Marty, better than this one. Now, they call it the chicken police. I find that kind of rude since we have all different kinds of walks of life that, <laughs> that work here. Um, dogs. Well, I think I'll take that as a compliment. Crazy. Uh, what are those things called? Ko Komodo dragons? Not just chickens here. Whatever, Sonny. All right, so let's go ahead and let's leave. Still drink coffee. Yeah, my only poison. Coffee Except for a chicken. Guns, of course. And women. Guns, women, and coffee. We could visit All right. our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zips coffee in the hop dog. A hop I'm dog? Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? Is he being sarcastic? I feel like he's being a little sarcastic. If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Oh, yeah, like last time? No, he wasn't being sarcastic, Those I guess. Were, uh, different times, Marty, with a different Sonny. Okay, I'm glad Sonny acknowledges that he, he wants to change. Uh, well, all right. To the city, then. You don't have to come with me, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Let's go. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Uh, Sonny, there's a little problem. Uh-oh. Not so little, and it smells, too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? Uh, well, it oh, is that, we that's can't the captain, avoid right? speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. He wasn't going to be here, you but now he showed up. With you, right? B what? <laughs> Just kidding. So sort of. Um, oh, look at Blood Boil. He looks... I like him. He looks good. I like that kind of dog. Uh, well, we have to talk to Blood Boy. We can't just leave without talking to him, right? What a surprise. Oh. The two pigeons back together. The two pigeons. And without my permission, of course. Chief Blood Boy. Damn. Why do I have this feeling that Chief Blood Boy is not a good person? What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely I like that. <laughs> Look at his Am finger. I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? He actually blinked too. That's so cute. Hey, hey, hey! Careful with the racist barking, old hound. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. It's New Year's Eve. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? We're going into the city. That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? He's not a cop. Well, he is a cop, but he is not. He's on a ministry of leave. Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. <laughs> I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or oh my God. chickens. Oh, just a coffee, boss. I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. This is the worst, like, persuasion ever. I mean, you have the bloodhound pointing his finger at a couple of chickens that are just holding their hands like, It's New Year's, though, but coffee and gunshots. How touching. I don't buy it. You shot him with a shotgun. Holy hell. Shot him with a shotgun? I thought it was like a rifle. Really a shotgun? How are you standing here, Sonny? <laughs> Family quarrel. 
for all the marrow bones of the world. Get the hell out of my sight. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, boss. Yeah, uh, look at that. Have a lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, Santino. I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. <laughs> New location. Okay, so we have what? We have a personal journal, right? We have people. Uh, uh, where is he? Yeah, Blood Boyle. His name is Lucius Wilford Blood Boyle, right? Lucius Wilford Blood Boyle. He's a dog. He's a male. His special feature is the chief is a real legend. He also hates me. I'll take it. We then can't what do we avoid speaking with the chief first, and it would be nice to say goodbye to Monica too. Okay, so we already spoke to the chief, but we need to talk to Monica. Monica was a what? A hummingbird? Well, Stay oh, safe, boys. Dang it! I'm glad to see you two together again. Yeah, she's she's definitely a uh, uh, a hummingbird. I'm afraid you're alone with that. Hey, don't make me change my mind. <laughs> you won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm serious, boys. Be careful out there. We're big birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. She has a... Uh, she has a very concern. She's very concerned about, like, hey, it seems like she knows something or maybe has a hint or something. Okay, but take care of each other, too. I don't know. Will do, Monica. She said it a few times, like... Be careful, be careful, take care of each other type thing. Yes, ma'am. Alright. Let's see. So we do have side quests that we can... Oh, my Lanta. We do have side quests, I remember. Um, and we can't, like, go back to them once they're gone. So we're gonna do it. And Hop Dog seems like a good place to go. Hotel Atlas, I believe, is our... Is our place, right? Is that where we live? No, 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 maybe not. Yeah, so let's go to the hop dog. I'm, I'm Jones for the hop dog. The hop dog was like the last warning. You can still turn back. <laughs> My eyes lingered on the sign. An enormous dog. Like a neon god with limitless power over cheap hot dogs, plastic hamburgers, and watered down coffee. <laughs> the cold light called me. But I didn't want to get out of the car. If we went in, we were all going to be pancakes, kept together by Ugh. cold syrup. Cold syrup on pancakes? Marty's worried look shook me out of my reverie. Oh, cluck. Was I talking to myself again? It's disgusting. Okay, what do we got? We have Fly Guy, who is an actual fly. That's lovely. Um something behind him there there's a city there's hot dog sign 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. all days all days okay all days all day every day the hive interesting um yes yeah, so let's let's go from left to right here let's go and look at the hive there used to be such life around here before it became an insect ghetto really an insect ghetto is that why we have fly guy here that was a very long time ago Marty I was a little chick and the hop dog had the best pancakes in the entire city. Why is the hop dog like so famous about the, the, the pancake game? They do they got a serious pancake game I don't know about? Well, since Zip became the owner, the cook, and the waitress, I imagine it's all gone downhill. <laughs> True. Zip. Is that Zip? A raccoon? Love it. But at least the coffee's good. That's right. I have no idea what that mongrel's doing with it, and I don't want to know. Any but its aroma is unbeatable. Any TV or movie, they always go somewhere, or they always have that reference where it's like, well, at least the coffee is good. I only come here for the coffee. There's not a single place in television movie history where the coffee is not good. Have you ever heard anyone complain about, oh, the coffee's terrible, but the food's good? No, you don't hear that. You hear the food's bad and the coffee's good. Let's see here. The city. Peaceful, isn't it? Because mm, the whole town's probably drunk by now. <laughs> what kind of city is this? Maybe that's the only way it can bear itself. Doesn't it remind you of someone? It's a low blow. It's a low blow, Marty. Shut up, Marty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got you there, old bird. 
Um, I guess we talked to Fly Guy, right? Let's talk to Fly Guy and see what he's all about. Actually, wait a sec. Before we talk to Fly Guy, I want to make sure um, the raccoon. Raccoon, right? Raccoon? Give me the raccoon. Where is the raccoon? Oh, wait, this is Zip, right? Oh, this is a raccoon, okay. Zip, Murphy, raccoon, male. An old enemy who became a good friend over the years. I think you always like to hear that kind of story, right? Just a double check, right? Because that portrait didn't match the original portrait when we saw it. But that's fine. All right, fly guy. Hey, pal. Oh, I love this. Why does he have regular hands? Or, or like, he has fly hands, un unlike us with human hands. Is he not human from the from the neck down? Can you hear me? Okay. What is this? We picked up something. Fly in the soup. A chicken police story. Can we see that? Fly in the soup? Okay, nope. Maybe... Is that like, uh, maybe, is it a collectible? Maybe it's a collectible. Stats, places, people, clues? No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, old car. Does this wreck belong to Zip? Well, it's a wreck just like him, so I guess it could. <laughs> okay. The good old, the god of hop, hop dog, the god of pancakes, fresh breakfast and lunch. What do you guys serve in the evening time? Do you guys serve breakfast and lunch? Are you sure that thing's a dog? I always wondered. The name hop dog is quite a giveaway. Don't you think so, Mr. Detective? He was making... I think he was being... I don't think he was being literal there, uh, Sonny. Sometimes the most natural connection... And if he was... Astray. Then that's... Who I don't like that? it. <laughs> a natural-born genius? <laughs> yeah, right. It kind of looks like, uh... God forgive me, I don't know the name of the actual characters, but like, uh, that TV show, Cat Dog, way back in the day, like early 2000s, Cat Dog, that looks like one of them, right? Looks like the dog, obviously, in Cat Dog. Let's see here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go inside. Let's go uh, into the, ooh. The place is deserted. Poor Zip. Really? You're right. Yeah, the guy's middle name is Bad Luck. That's for sure. The highlight of Whoops. my day. Yeah, I can smell it already. Got an achievement there. I was wondering what the hell just happened. So special. And he just has a coffee maker and uh, some Folgers. I mean, you know, Folgers in your cup. That's basically what's going on back here. Look at that mangy trash panda and tell me, do you really want to know? Mangy trash panda. I always forgot that people called raccoons like trash pandas. I, I think that's kind of like... I don't know. I don't know. I like that. I like calling raccoons trash pandas. Um, you're right. As always. Oh, he looks... Look at his hands. Okay, there's a lot going on in here. <laughs> Let's start again. Left to right. Jukebox. Probably pointless, but we're going to do it anyways. Oh, D oh my God. What is this? For a handful of feathers. Oh, the intro? I mean, naturally, we have to play not all cops are pigs, right? It's a freaking banger. Okay. All right. Fly with me, baby. Cast in Mavis, the new star of rock and roll. And voila, the master himself. You don't get a lot of voilas. And voila. What a finch. Uh, Sonny, he's a pigeon, not a finch. Don't make <laughs> me angry, Marty. Okay, I was only joking. Okay. Thank you. We we, we found out uh, he's a pigeon, and he is on a... a he's on a... He, he's... He's rock and roll, baby. Ah, this will do. Cold coffee? Until tomorrow morning, at least. That's right. I mean, okay, I don't know why I bat an eye at cold coffee, because, you know, half the people that drink Starbucks, they get cold coffees, right? Iced coffee, at least. Um, doodles menu. What's the menu like? You still don't eat meat, old man? I'm a rooster. A chicken. Why the hell would I eat meat? Marty, do you eat meat? I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic. But a meat substitute? 
There's about ten different kinds. A meat never substitute. Tried any of them? Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild gods, Marty! Stop being such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? What kind of substitute meat is in this universe? That's what I want to know. Isn't meat, Sonny? And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? I don't care what you eat. But don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg <laughs> one day. <laughs> what do we got here? We got a, we got a lot of different things here. Can we Ooh, zoom in? Ah, uh, you used to be more daring. Oh, whoops. Yeah, and my back didn't hurt either. I thought it was gonna be the same dialogue. That's Furry why I was gonna skip through it there. Depressing being around you, boss bird. Um, but there's like you know, sixty-five cents, uh, thirty cents. Kind of feel like a. I mean, what is this supposed to be like? I don't even know. The prices, this is probably the reason why you're not doing so good, Zip. It might be too expensive for the time that you live in, right? <laughs> All right, doodles. Fuck the king. All right, well, we're just going to... What inside? I'm just going to take that one. Where all the colors go? Well, that's a good question, pal. And then, I guess we talked to Zip with those crazy hands. Like, look at Hello, his hands. Boys. Now, get the hell out of here while I'm asking nicely. He's got a dagger and, like, a Sons of Anarchy tattoo on his hand. That's, uh, that's lovely. Hey, is that how you greet two old friends? Yeah, I, I would like a cup of coffee, too, while you're at it. Hey, I'm not joking, Oh, look at his nail. Oh, he's a raccoon. I've got a shotgun under the bar. Why would you... What, what, is, what is wrong, Zip? No, you don't, because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. <laughs> ah, it's going well so far. We're just here for a coffee, Zip. Okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Well, he, you know, he, he's not hes not completely wrong there. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. And where'd you blow in from? Where'd you blow in from? It's an interesting choice of words there. We haven't been anywhere yet, but we're going somewhere. Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around ah, the weasel. Wessler. Holy hell, Wessler? You've dipped your wings in deep shit, boys. You best believe it. I still kind of like your nail game going on. I did judge it before, but I, I like it. If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. I don't think Zip's going to be giving away any information. It doesn't feel like it. Maybe this is where we're going to interrogate him. Grateful. Maybe you're not going to trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years anyway. Right. And? But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. And ever since, Mongrel he's Mick. been kind of weird, bottomed out, brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Don't think we know who Mongrel Mick is yet, do we? Yeah, weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. <laughs> Well, there is a woman. I knew it. But not like you think. Is this gonna cost much? Only a favor, like the good old days. So what? What, what kind of favor are you, what, are you are you gonna try to ask here, Zip? Okay, I'm in. Function, new function. Ask. Okay, okay, yeah, we we know that. First of all, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh. Did we get new information? We did get more information, some more personal information about uh, the weasel there. He's good looking, apparently. He's char charismatic and a clucking gangster. I think we, uh, I think we uh, established that in a previous episode. But um, yeah, I guess time to interrogate Zip. Oh my god. Um, <clears throat> ooh, okay. Um, you can ask him about Wessler, of course. Can ask him about the club Natasha Katzenko. Maybe it has to do with Natasha Katzenko. I hope this isn't like one and done. 
I have a feeling this might be like one and done. To play it safe, I will choose Natasha Cat Zanko, and hopefully it's not a one and done. So, about that woman, is she really that dangerous? <laughs> what woman isn't, huh? Eh? <laughs> no, Zip. I mean, really dangerous. She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. She calls him her little furball. Ooh. How dangerous do you think she is? I'm pretty dangerous then. <sighs> My little furball. Okay, so it, it isn't just one and done. So that's good. That's good to know. Um, let's go just uh, from the top to the down. Have you ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred times. The Sark Everyone Club. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry, guys. But then it had a different name and a different owner. Business affairs, right? What? Yeah, that was the dark era, Sonny. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Roger that. Let's see, Hop Dog. Let's. I mean, I don't know what kind of information we can get from Hop Dog, other than maybe it could be like a front now. I don't know. I've got to say, you've revamped the joint pretty well. Yeah, after you trashed it, I had to. Look, I'm. Uh, I'm sorry, Zip. That ocelot and his gorilla. <laughs> what? <laughs> Baboon, not gorilla. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I was to say a gorilla walking around. That's crazy. Sunny. <clears throat> Watch your beak. So you owe me one until about the end of time. But I'd settle for you washing up here for a few years after retirement, Sonny. <laughs> Mind your tongue, for a ball. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's ask him, ask him about <clears throat> the weasel. So, Ibn's gone insane. Love will kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood today. You're one to talk, by the way. Huh? Why? Okay. And last but not least, Zip Murphy. You didn't get any younger, pal. You're telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since forever. To be honest, I've never had a good night's sleep in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> you will when the big sleep comes. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? Of course. You got a better idea? A couple, yeah. But somehow this suits you. You know what? Your mother's a goat. What? Was that even like, was that called for my man? Okay, so, I mean. That Natasha's a mysterious woman, a real cursed Maybe we can get more out of him here. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Okay. Is that so? Ah, Natasha. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. Makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Do they have and Jessica suddenly, Rabbit in this game? Bam! She got the whole club. Just like that. But we know exactly how it was. I can imagine. Yeah. Since then, it operates under the name The Czar Club, right? The old click is still clicking, right? <laughs> yeah. The club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ibn's lover. But she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Hmm. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick and his mob. Mongrel Mick? Mongrel Mick? Doesn't sound familiar. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Mick the Marauder? Damn, that little monkey came this far? Uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Maybe it's not all about the weasel. Which has something to do with this Natasha. Right? That's my guess. Thanks for this straight dope, Zip. We <laughs> owe you one. <laughs> one? You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? Oh, God. Okay, okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. Really? Just that easy? I cluck and will. Thanks, pal. Hey, I'm not your pal, Marty. I like how people use that clucking well. Um, can we go inside? The door didn't look like this last time. Yeah, because last time you tore it out and beat that baboon with it. Oh, yeah. I remember now. So that's why Zip remodeled the whole place. Well, I mean, if you beat a bamboo with a, a, a diner door, he's got to do something. He had to. We didn't leave much of it standing. Right. If I didn't know how nice we are, 
I'd almost hate ourselves. <laughs> Welcome to the club, partner. All right, so I, I, I assume we're done here. Um, I think we learned more about Natasha, right? Yeah, we got a lot of personal info about Natasha, which will come in handy in the future. Um, but I mean, in the meantime, I think we're done here, right? Yeah, I think we're done here for the most part. Let's check it out. Now, whoops, sorry. Now, does that, does it show like a, uh, I was going to say, does it show like a complete? Maybe not. We have another side quest here, the Hotel Atlas. Let's go ahead and jump to there. I don't want to move on in the main story. I want to do all the side pal? quests too. I see your cleaning lady died. Jesus. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. Oh my God. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Can chickens smell? Do chickens have nostrils? I'm sure they do. Yeah, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, <laughs> but no, this is lavender. We had a we had a a a, a deer, right? Um, I forgot the name, but yeah, we had we had someone in here. Yeah, right. No, that's got to be the Ibanez the dame. dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter and the job, obviously. Ah, uh, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's <laughs> jealous because your nose is better than a clucking bloodhound. <laughs> <laughs> I like <laughs> that. old dog. Yeah, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. You think... So, <clears throat> what now? You think Sonny has a thing for Monica, maybe? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what Natasha. she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. After you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window. <laughs> sure, just do it quietly. Great. Great to know. Um, so, what, can we, I don't think we're going to be able to do much in here, right? Can we talk to Marty? I mean, no, we don't need to talk to Marty. Uh, yeah. I think it's mostly just all the same, right? Yeah, it looks like just all the same. We could. Mm, it would be best to board it up. It'd go well with this rundown neighborhood. It may be run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Maybe. Yeah. You could live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Now, does Marty have a have a, an opinion at anything we click in the room now? Oh, if why so, I'm not surprised. I wonder if he'll know like anything about the cabinet. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever is it. He doesn't. He has no information. All right, so let's just see here. So, I just want to make sure can we not go back to the hop dog, right? We can go back to the hop dog. That worries me. It feels like it makes me feel like we didn't uh, uh complete what needed to be completed there. Um, which I hope everything is completed at the hop dog. But uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like. Subscribe for more Chicken Police. Paint it red. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.